Hey there, dragons. I'm Gus. And I'm Grayson. Today is February the 13th, and this is Dragon TV. Valentine's Day is coming up, so we need to get ready. First up today, worst dates. We asked some dragons about their worst dates. Here's what they said. Wait, that sounds really mean. Dates are hard. None of you have a good sense of humor about it. I guess. Let's see. Okay, what was your worst date? Ha, ah, good question. My worst date, I went to the movies uh, with a girl, and uh, one of my other friends showed up. I was a guy, and he was sitting with us. Um, and I paid for the movie for both of us, for, the, for me and the girl, uh, and she left. Uh, being his girlfriend. True story. The summer between my junior and senior years, my mother's best friend begged her to ask me to go out on a date with her nephew. This was when the night that I was going to propose to my wife, I was taking her to like a special place to do the proposal, and I locked her ring in my car with my keys. Okay, so I guess if I think about it, my worst dating experience would be that I got introduced to this new guy when I was in high school, and he liked movies, so he took me to the theater to see Cheech and Chong, which I knew nothing about. My mother put pressure on me, so I agreed. The guy was a real dork, never talked to me, never looked me in the face, it was the worst two hours of my life. So then I had to call some guy from like Papa Lock to come pop it out. Me and my wife were like sitting there the entire time and she's like, what in the world's going on? And I finally got the key of the ring out like 30 minutes later. That was pretty bad, yeah. Oh, so my worst date experience was a Sadie Hawkins. It's coming up, right? Don't ever do this, girls. As I worked at this one store and a a pretty affluent neighborhood in the Dallas area and I had this one nerdy guy that kept asking me out a lot and I finally said yes and I made it about 10 minutes into that movie before I got up and walked out and he had to take me home but it worked out okay we eventually got married I sent a note with my friend oh you guys don't do that anymore anyway um, and it said Scott M they gave it to the wrong Scott so I asked the wrong guy to Sadie Hawkins. We went to this Mexican restaurant. We had nothing in common. I barely talked. And we went back. And then he called me and asked me for a second date, which was to a young Republicans party. And I said, no, I got a babysit. And he never called me back after that. Praise the Lord. Up next, another throwback to last year, Celebrity Crushes. So? So what? It was yours. No, we're not doing that again, bro. Come on, you're no fun. Fine. It's Anna Kendrick. Just roll the segment. Who's your celebrity crush? Ryan Gosling. <laughs> Channing Tatum. Who's your celebrity crush? Clearly, uh, clearly the celebrity crush. Aww. Just one celebrity crush? Hold on, I have a list. Well, I was gonna say Shakira, but I guess it's Skyler. <laughs> J-Lo. Selena Gomez, hands down. David Tennant, Hugh Jackman, Christian Slater. Michael B. Jordan. Who's your celebrity crush, Lacey? Zac Efron. Uh, I'd have to say Chris Hemsworth. Tommy Hale, Luke Hemmings, Ryder Strong. Who's your celebrity crush? Cole Sprouse. Oh my god, <laughs> he's so far. Or Tom Holland. Which one? Oh. Y'all know who Clint Eastwood is? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Freddie Highmore, Kendall Schmidt, Charlie Heaton. One's Patrick Swayze, who's no longer with us, and the other one's Carlos. Anna Kendrick. Oh, man, Jennifer Aniston. Eddie Redmayne, Chris Evans, Ben Hardy, Shamar Moore. And mine is Benedict Cumberbatch. What's up, Jennifer Lopez? Lopez? All the way. Who's your celebrity crush? Ew. Dacker Mc... Montgomery, is that his name? 
I think from so. From Stranger Things. Yeah. Now for some Valentine's Day trivia. Kind of. How's it kind of Valentine's Day trivia? Well, it's on this episode. Okay. And the questions have nothing to do with Valentine's Day. Then why is it Valentine's Day trivia? Enough questions. Roll the second. What are we doing? How many bones does the shark have? 276. <laughs> How many bones are the shark? 212. Where's the bones do sharks have? Zero. Oh. Well, it's actually... How many planets are in the solar system? Ten. How many planets are in the solar system? Twelve. <laughs> How many planets are in the solar system? Eight. What is a group of lions called? I heard. What is a group of lions called? Lion King. What is a group of lions called? Oh, a pack? Uh, what is a group of lions called? Like a pride? <laughs> what is MVP stand for? Major... I swear. <laughs> Preston. Major virus... Uh, um, no. MVP. Sports, what does MVP stand for? Most valuable player. Alright. How many great lakes are there? We know one, so... How many Great Lakes are there? Great Lakes? Yeah. Four? Oh, hundred? <laughs> How many Great Lakes are there? Five. Now for a new repeating segment. We're gonna play some Minute to Win It. Like the Guy Ferrari thing? Yeah. We're gonna play a game with four players and crown a champion. By the way, we're gonna be keep playing these with prizes on the line, so watch out for the future. That does sound pretty good. Let's see how the first one went. You've got a minute to win it. And welcome to Minute to Win It. First up, we got Braden. Tell me about yourself, Braden. I don't know why I'm here. Next up is Tegan. Please I'm the only me. girl. I can pull the sexism card if I lose. <laughs> Our third contestant is Morgan. I. Uh, that's all I got to say, bro. I. Next, we got Gus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to our game. <laughs> In this game, the contestants have 60 seconds to get the Skittles from this cup to oh, this yeah. cup. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Three, two, oh, God, oh, God. one, go! Uh. Stop. Uh. <laughs> All right. Who won? Our I winner. Won. Our winner is Tegan. Congratulations, Tegan. You're moving on to the final round. I'm sorry, Morgan. I'm afraid you've been a little. Man, I ran out of breath like three times. Lungs of a singer. Just saying. All right, let's move on to round two with Gus and Brayden. Round two. Are you ready? Yo. Are you ready? Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, congratulations. You're moving on to the final round. I'm sorry, Brad. I'm afraid you've been eliminated. What do you have to say? Bogus. Alright, can I say something? Yes. <laughs> Alright, coming up, the final round between Tegan and Gus. Don't go away. Welcome to the final round between Gus and Tegan. We're about to find out who the ultimate winner is. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Yeah. Three, God. two, one, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I ain't dropped nothing. Dang it. Let's That's go. I'm the champion, baby. And that concludes. It's because I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. right, I'm done. <coughs> yeah. One more story for Valentine's. Best dates? Nope. Candy. We ask people for their favorites so you can be ready for the holiday. You gotta buy the good stuff. Cool.
I could use all the help I could get. Same, honestly. Let's get it. Well, my favorite candy bar is the three Musketeers. Hershey bar. My favorite candy is the Kit Kat. Snickers. Snickers. Reese's Nutrageous. My favorite candy bar is a almond chocolate bar. Reese's. Miss Pappas, what's your favorite candy bar? I love a Heath bar. Toffee covered in chocolate. Okay, great. Uh, what's your favorite candy bar? I pretty much like all chocolates, but my favorite would have to be Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Kyle, what's your favorite candy bar? Snickers. It's just normal Snickers or like... Now for a few announcements. First up, powerlifting is having their annual meet tonight, February the 13th in the Dragon Gym. Come out and support our dragons. A pair of charity jobs are about to wrap up. Pennies for Patients will wrap up tomorrow, Friday the 14th. So if you have any last minute donations, now is the time. Also, if you have any socks for Miss May, Friday is also the last day for that. This is a great opportunity to help out those less fortunate than yourself. Chess Club will be meeting tonight on Thursday the 13th. If you've never played chess, no worries. This is a great time to learn. If you have, we can find a worthy opponent for you. The meeting will be after school today in Miss Knight's room. Come get some snacks and play one of the oldest, greatest games in the world. Remember next week is winter break at RISD, so no school. Also keep in mind that Monday of the following is teacher in service, so the first day back will be Tuesday, February the 25th. Enjoy the break, Dragons. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. It's, it's a, a great, great day to be a Dragon. Ba, ba. And this is Dragon TV. <laughs> Intro brackets. <laughs> space. Valentine's space day space is. <laughs> Come on, you're no fun. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it just—it's for game show. <laughs> I suck. I suck at soccer. All right. <laughs> Using the door. It be freezing. Special guest, Mr. <laughs> Freezing, come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. Danny Duck. Donald Danny Duck. Da Donald Danny Duck. <laughs> Donald Danny Duck DeVito. Donald Danny Duck DeVito, Doug Dimidome, the doobies Doug Dimidome. The second. Dot com. Dot net. Dot org. Donnie Daniel Duck. <laughs> I'm ready. The sun is a deadly laser. The sun is a deadly laser. <laughs> the sun is a deadly laser. <laughs>